Hello beautiful people of the world and welcome to a new PD tutorial. In this video we're going to start to learn how to control our synthesizer or drum machines from within a PD patch. So the first object that we're going to learn to use is the note out object. So we create a new object, type in note out, and as we can see it has three inputs. And we can go to the help file to learn what those three inputs are for. And as we can see, from right to left, we have the MIDI channel, and then we have the velocity, and then we have the note number. So this object will take these three values, the MIDI channel we're going to send uh, values to, the velocity of the notes, and the note number, of course, and it sends out MIDI messages from the physical outputs that we have connected to our computer. It can be a MIDI card, it can be a sound card with a MIDI input. So the first thing that we need to do is to correctly select our MIDI interface. So we go to the Media menu and MIDI settings voice. Then where it says output devices, we can click on the first item and we can choose the output device that we have connected to our system. So in my case, I'm going to use the MIDI output of my sound card, which is the Studio 1824. I'm going to save all settings, and then click OK. OK, so let's create a number atom, and we're going to use it for the MIDI channel. So we can change its options, right-click with the mouse, and we're going to change the range number from 1 to 16 because MIDI channels are 1 to 16. So for every single hardware connections, we have 16 different channels we can use to send MIDI data. Okay, then let's create a vertical slider. And as you may recall, sliders are already set up to send out values from 0 to 127, which is the velocity range for the MIDI messages. So the second slider is going to be useful to set up the velocity value of the notes that we're going to send to our hardware devices. Now, in my case, I'm using the Nord Drum, which is a very beautiful drum machine. So I'm going to use a single value in this case, just to give you an example of how this works. So if you're using a synthesizer, you might want to use another slider to set the MIDI note number. I'm just going to use a message box because I just want to trigger one sound from my Nord Drum, which is the kick. So I'm going to create a message box. I'm going to type in 36, which is the MIDI node number for the channel one on my Nord Drum. And I'm going to make the connections. Now, to properly trigger the nodes, we have to send the three values, well, we could send only the velocity and the MIDI node number values because we can set up the MIDI channel value just one time. But we have to send the velocity value before we send the node number value. So we create a new trigger object with two creation arguments, two banks. And we are going to connect the first outlet of the new trigger object to the slider input and second outlet, the leftmost one, to the message box or to the slider that we use to set the MIDI note value. Now we can create a metro object with, say, 500 as creation argument, and of course, a toggle to turn it on and off. And of course, we make all the connections. And to listen to the sound, I have set up this group of objects here, but you can discard this. But naturally, if you want to use the sound of your hardware synthesizers or drum machines inside PD patches, you have, of course, to make also the audio connections. So make all the hardware connections. Be sure you have the right settings in your hardware machine. And when you have everything set up, we can test it out. Okay, so this is pretty simple, pretty straightforward, and just to make a very fast recap. 
the not out object let us choose the MIDI channel we want to send data with and we have to set the velocity value for the notes and the note numbers. To properly send note messages with the correct velocity values, we have to, of course, trigger the velocity value before we actually send the note values to the note out object. But we can make things a bit more interesting using a drum sequencer like this one. This is a sequencer that I created and it's included in the Moose Electron Studio collection of patches that you can grab following the link in the description of this video. So you can choose the proper MIDI channel. If you open the patch, you can see that there is a MIDI implementation chart, so to speak. So you can see all the MIDI values corresponding to all the different sounds from the eight different uh, tracks of the sequencer. I already set up the correct MIDI note values into my North drum, so I am just, you know, good to go. So let's give it a try. Now, when using this sequencer, you don't have to create uh, a new note out object because everything is packed into the sequencer itself. So you just have to make sure that the note values for the instrument that you're using, the drum machine that you're using, matches the note values sent by the sequencer itself. But other than that, you're just really good to go. Okay, so thanks for watching this new tutorial. Remember to subscribe to my channel, hit like, and I'll see you on the next one. Ciao.